All right, you guys, this is it. The last virtual takeover of the season. Thank you to all of you who have been with us for this incredible ride. We couldn't be happier with the turnout and the success of the events. And we are very excited to host these again in the future. Uh, but today for the final virtual takeover of the season, we will be welcoming Beth with Faber-Castell. Uh, we have two videos today. The first one is going to go on right now. We're going to review the entire collection of Graf von Faber-Castell, which is the premium line. And then at 2 p.m. Central Time, we're going to go ahead and review the design line Faber-Castell. Those of you who don't know, Faber-Castell is one of the oldest fine writing companies in the world. And they also do a lot with you know, fountain pens, rollerballs, ballpoints, but also in the field of art. They also manufacture tons and tons of art supplies. Uh, we won't be getting into that today because obviously we're going to focus on the fine writing. But I also wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow we officially start the virtual sidewalk sale. So this would have been the 33rd annual sidewalk sale. Uh, we're not doing it outside this year, obviously, due to restrictions from COVID. But we are going to bring the sale to you on our website so you can shop from the comfort of your couch. But here we go, guys. Uh, we've got a jam-packed day. We got some trivia at the end of both videos. We got some crazy, crazy uh, promotions going on. Before I invite Beth on, I'm going to let you guys know that until 11.59 p.m. tonight, all Graf von Faber-Castell and all Faber-Castell will be 25% off. And we're going to include a free bottle of ink with any fountain pen purchase you make from either line. So make sure you head over to atlasstationers.com. You'll see the coupon code that you can use to redeem that 25% off. It's a one-time or a one-day special, I should say. But here we go. Beth, I'm going to bring you on. Yeah, I couldn't be more excited, you guys. The takeover season's been perfect. Beth, how are you? Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, Absolutely. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And want me to introduce myself, or if you've already done that? You're looking like a superstar. So uh, I just gave a brief <laughs> background, basically saying Faber Castell is just one of the older fine writing companies, if not the oldest. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about you. First off, thank you for coming on today. We really appreciate your time. But uh, I appreciate you. Yeah, no problem at all. Who who are you? What do you do? How did you land with Faber Castell? Kind of what's the story about you? I know. Who am I? Um, so my name is Beth Epstein, and I've worked for Faber Castell about thirteen years now. And before that, my career was in jewelry. And Faber Castell called me. And before that, I thought there were only Marriott pens. But I've soon learned they don't hold a candle to a fine writing instrument. And I've worked for them ever since. I love working for them. They're an international company with about 4,000 employees. And um, we're headquartered in Stein, Germany. And we're owned by, we're ninth generation owned by a county wow. Germany. I know, how cool is that? And that is a family wow. business still. Yeah, it's awesome. And he's got a castle and everything. So that's kind of a little bit about me, but I thought I would jump into the history of Faber Castell because they are really so much in more interesting than I am. So um, they have kind of a cool history. So I thought I'd just go for that first. Sure. Um, we were founded in 1761. And as Brendan said, we are one of the oldest manufacturers in the world. And we are the largest producer of pencils in the world. We produce over a billion pencils a year. And just to give you a visual of that, if you took those pencils, laid them end to end, they would reach the moon. Wow. I know, right? And some of those pencils, I forgot to mention that Faber-Castell also, we make a lot of things. We make the finest quality art and graphic products and we make children's art products and craft products. I forgot to mention that in the little introduction because we do a great job of that too. Let's go back to Faber's history. Casper von Faber was a cabinet maker who enjoyed making pencils and he opened the his little pencil factory in 1761. His grandson 
Baron Lothar von Faber in 1839, he was the one that actually took that small family business and made it into an internationally well-known company. His philosophy was really simple. He wanted to make the best quality merchandise and put his name on it. So we are actually one of the oldest trademarked countries in the world, uh, companies in the world. And in the United States, we are the oldest trademark. Wow. The Lothar didn't stop there. He also invented the number two pencil. He set the standards for the diameter, the length, the hardness of the pencils that still apply today. Um, so Graf von Faber Castell, and by the way, Graf just means count in German. We feature timeless designs, modern technology, and they're handmade in Germany. They're truly unique because because of the hand craftsmanship, as well as the natural materials we used mixed with really fine metals. They make great gifts and they come in beautiful boxes that are ready for gift giving. But we're, we're great gifts for men, for women, um, holidays, bridesmaids, groomsmen, employees, executives, really anybody. And the nice things about our writing instruments is they're engravable. We are also one of the few companies that can engrave a lot of pen writing instruments and turn them around in a very quick manner in order to make them great corporate gifts. Mm -hmm. So, and we have an array of price points and styles that just are perfect for them. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'd like to talk a little bit about how that lowly little pencil grew into a luxurious gift. So this, I'm going to try to hold this up so y'all can see it, but this is the finest cedar wood from California. This is the platinum finish cap that covers the replaceable erasers because I don't know about you, but I always use my erasers up first. Very and true. I don't want to, and I don't want to see a yucky one, so I'm going to cover it. <laughs> I sharpen the pencil to about here, and then I put the extender on, so I can sharpen it to the itty bitty and still have a comfortable writing instrument. And wow. here's the sharpener. Can you see that? Built into that's the, the pencil. That's the sharpener. So you have, oh, and you have the beautiful gift set. If you put that lid down, Brendan, on the gift set, they'll see that mirrored top. And all of that can be engraved. The, wow. the box, the perfect pencil, and inside, are four um, replaceable erasers and pencils. And that just, it looks gorgeous on a desk. And even people that don't even use pencils, they sit there when I use mine and they're like, what is that? We want that. Um, so that's- This is by far pencil. the most exquisite pencil in the world, I'd have to say. <laughs> I agree with that. I'm going to agree with you on that on that. But I want to point out that you can't, once you have the pencil, you can get refills in different color wood and different colors all together. So I'm going to show you the black. The brown, of course, looks like a pencil. The black, which is dyed cedar wood, so it's dyed throughout. And when you sharpen it, it's going to sharpen black throughout. But that looks like a whole different animal. It looks just sleek and cool and modern. And the Black Edition is, is really cool too. You've got that too. Good, I'll let you hold that up. The Black Edition has been coated with anthracite colored PVD coating made of titanium. So that really has an all black, sleek, kind of stealthy look to it. Just so cool. And if you're in the mood for colors, it comes in a multitude of colors. I brought two to show you today. One is turquoise Ooh. and one is burnt orange, but they come in a lot of different colors that are available. Like I said, once you have, have it. Um, the normal box, if you can buy just the perfect pencil, comes in a beautiful wooden box with three segments. So you can put refills in there. You can put more writing instruments. It's great to sit in a drawer in a, in a desk. It's just very convenient. Plus, it's beautiful. 
So that is our perfect pencil. And basically, the last thing I want to say about that is that they, oh, those are the refills available. They have actually taken a low tech item and made it cool. So that's my perfect pencil. And I think cool is an understatement here. I mean, I don't really use pencils, but I would for sure grab one of these sets. I mean, even just letting it sit on your desk, unsharpened, not used. I mean, that brings some, some nice aesthetics to your life, you know? Like, that is just a killer, killer item. And, uh, and it's so unique. People just think it's, they don't know what it is, what to think it is. They love exactly, it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and I didn't really realize that the first pencil, uh, just the, the single, I didn't really think to, to look that it has three holders in the box. That's pretty convenient, like you yeah. mentioned. So I learned something new right there. And everything, everything comes with itself with a little pouch to hold your pens in mm -hmm. and a little booklet about the company. Perfect. So I thought we'd talk next. Um, ever since 2003, we have made a limited edition pen of the year. And each year it is a beautiful pen that has historic um, significance it has meticulous craftsmanship, and it's made out of really elegant materials like jade, amber, mammoth tooth ivory. Those are just to name a few. They, um, they are offered in, they're made in a very limited amount of pieces. Each one is numbered, and it comes with a certificate of authenticity that's signed by Count Charles von, Fa von Faber. Wow, that's legit. And it also comes in this gorgeous, high polished wooden box that um, also has room for six additional pens in it. So the 2020 pen of the year has two editions and each one has fountain pen and rollerball to it. This year's 2020 pen has been inspired by the, um, the Greek heroes of the Spartans, the Spartans. And um, I'm going to hold this up close. Just hopefully oh, you here we go. See this. Let's see if I can do this. This is the first edition. Wow. Um, the ruthenium plated sandblasted matte barrel. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Matte barrel. It's reminiscent of the Spartan steel battle dress. And the milled barrel pays homage to the striped protective armor that they wore. The grip represents their metal breastplate. Wow. And on the cap, the clip is represented of their of the warrior's helmets. There are seven hand applied uncut diamonds around the barrel. And on emblazoned on their shields was the lamb the lambda letter in the Greek alphabet, and so we've represented that by a lacquered inlay of the lamp. I don't think you can see that very well, now can you? A little bit. That. So it looks like a red, like a red finial it's, with a black lacquered symbol. Yeah, it's like a red V, which is the symbol for lambda, and wow. so we have that on there. Wow! So, wow! Um, I wish we had one of those here right now, so I could play with it. That is crazy. Well, Brendan, I might just be able to send you this for a little while. Oh, uh, hey. You can't sell saying... them, though, because I will tell you, these are the prototypes. But we could oh. order them from Germany for you. Wow. I was going to say, some um, people say I have an influence, you know? So I like samples, especially okay. especially $5,000 samples, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can. We'll talk about that afterwards. Absolutely. Um, so the plunger type uh, fountain pen has a handmade 18 karat gold magnum size nib. Can you see that? Yeah, magnum that is wicked. Size nib. It's been ruthenium plated and it's available in fine, medium, and broad. This is the black edition Sparta. Wow. Let's see if we can hold this up so you can see that, too. So the legendary strength of the Greek heroes is symbolized between the dark pen and then the adornment of the stones that decorate it. The anthracite-colored milled barrel is adorned with 42 
hand applied uncut diamonds that are, that are up to 2.1 carats. Um, they're in seven rows of six, and this represents the rivets that are on their protective arm, the protective armors that the Spartans wore. And again, the grip on this represents the breastplate, and you can see this is the rollerball. It also has the lambda symbol on the end cap, which I'm sure you cannot see. We can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. They're doing a fantastic and, um, job. That, wait, so, so, okay, so the black and the silver one both come in rollerball and fountain, correct? Yes, and okay. oh, I forgot to tell you, on the, um, on the, the sandblasted with uh, silver one, that is, um, we made, 310 pieces worldwide wow. of the fountain pen. It retails for $3,900. The rollerball retails for $3,600, and we made 90 pieces. Jeez, that's black incredibly edition, limited. It's wow. fair, and the black edition is even more limited. The fountain pen retails for $5,400, and it is um, 270 pieces. The rollerball is $4,900, and it's 80 pieces. I do see a comment here that it's a shame that the body didn't come in red. The reason why it didn't is because it's reminiscent of their armor, which was, mm -hmm. which was steel. So that's why it is in the ruthenium plate plating that it, is, that it comes in. So I, I would like to, to make a quick comment. You know, typically with companies that aren't, in the US, you know, when we see a limited release like that, I think it's important to stress that not all of those units make it to the US, right? Because they have to be distributed around the world. So let's say 300 limited edition pieces worldwide, think of a small percentage of that that actually makes it into the state. So it makes it even more limited. Exactly. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. and in fact, I, I think the black fountain pen I will check this for sure, but I believe our Black Edition fountain pen is sold out worldwide. Wow! So I, I would, I would have to check on that for you, but sure, I think it might be. So, so um, for, the, for the viewers watching, uh, we have both fountain pens on our website. Obviously, if you want to inquire, shoot us a message. Um, we'll let you know if it's still available. Uh, the roller yeah. balls are not on our website, but if they're still available, just shoot us a message. They and we'll are. Pick you up like always. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, they are. Cool. And you said, um, you said 42 diamonds? Uh, yep, on the black edition, 42 diamonds totaling 2.1 carats. And on the other edition, there's seven diamonds that total 0.35 carats. Wow. You know yep, what? All instead, hand of, instead of a wedding ring, you got to gift the, uh, the Ground Park <laughs> Favorite Castell pen of the year. <laughs> Karina's, right? Is that who that is? Exactly. We'll, we'll, tell, her, exactly. we'll tell her that. She, she, she's um, got an, uh, an unwanted pen collection started right now because I'm trying to get her pen enabled <laughs> into this fine world. <laughs> Karina, we'll talk. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Perfect. All right. I'm going to show you. I'm going to move on to our Bentley series. These are handcrafted in Germany in collaboration with the famous luxurious Bentley automakers. Um, Graf von Faber-Castell has launched a limited, um, limited edition series of writing instruments for Bentley's 100th anniversary. So the, uh, Bentley is, during their 100th year in their factory in England, the, the automobiles that they are making for that year come with a special um, centenary specification package and it has such things in there. This is to denote that these cars were made during that year. Mm -hmm. um, it, they have like a really nice package of gold bag, badging, special um, interior embroidery, um, unique tread plates, and a bunch of other things are in there. And we've tried to honor their 100th anniversary um, by doing much of the same things. So I'm going to mm -hmm. hold this up and hopefully you can see some of the details. Brent, uh, Brendan, do you have some of this? The, I do not. Oh, okay. 
So, 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 we, so we've actually done pretty well. Uh, I know when Sheila used to fly all you for events, she would feature the Bentley line. And they actually yeah. did pretty well in Chicago. It's it's pretty cool because it's not known as well as, you know, the Graf line. But uh, I remember she actually left me some of her Bentley so I could play around with. And I, I don't know which one it was. It was like a $1,000 one, but it was in a broad nib. And my goodness, that was doesn't crazy. it feel it good? Like the broad nibs, yeah. It feels and it feels so good in the hand. That happens to be the ebony with yeah. um, the ebony version. Ebony is what they make piano keys from, so it's sure. a really hard, fine wood. And that pen that I don't have have it to show you right now. It's actually downstairs, but I don't want to run down and get it for you. But it is. Oh my gosh, men especially, and I know this, I shouldn't be gendering this up, but um, the, the feel in a man's hand, especially, it fits mm -hmm. so nicely and it, it just feels so substantial. It was crazy. It, and I it's got, got a matching size nib, it's beautiful. I got hooked. I'm gonna like, show oh you this, God. I know, I'm gonna show you the centenary, centenary one. Um, we've made it in all black because this is reminiscent of their past sports cars. And you probably cannot see this up close, but this has been hand engraved in a diamond pattern that that is reminiscent of their um, interior seating. Um, their cars, on um, the gear, I learned this when we started, I didn't know anything about Bentley's or cars until, you know, I just want my car to go. So yeah. I learned all Not of this expert. with it, but it is so interesting. Um, the gear shift in their cars, as well as their as well as their wheels, feature a hand engraved knurling around around their Bentley B. And so we have featured this as well. And for their hundredth anniversary, their golden their golden anniversary, we have also put a twenty four karat. Uh, coated gold ring around around the Bentley B, and the the nibs are um, uh, anthracite PVD coating made of titanium, covering a really high quality stainless steel nib, and it's got that sleek black look throughout. It is available in a fountain pen, the roller ball as well as a twist ballpoint. Wow. That is um, good. You know, I'm not really, if you ever want to know a price of something, I did write them down so I don't forget, you know, how I'm vintage myself, so I don't <laughs> like to forget. Um, so if you ever want to know something, just stop me and I'll, I'll let you know. Sure. I, think, um, I think we're I, all, oh, sorry, go ahead. Are you reading a comment? I am. I'd actually love to see a leather version on the barrel. That would look epic. I agree with you. And I will tell you our um, our Bentley leather uh, um, pen, pen cases, uh, they hold two pens and they're truly beautiful. They're made out of calf skin and I and they have that quilting inside like the and I agree with you a leather pen would be awesome in this I agree yeah leather's um, hot leather's yeah. hot nowadays same with the all black look the all stealth so it's cool yeah. that, that Bentley and Graf is obviously you know keeping up with the trend if not starting the trend uh I think people for some reason it's the stealth right now and then blues like so many people are going for for blue pens it's pretty crazy Agreed. and blue is yeah. my favorite color just as a a little there you note. go there you go fun fact that's the trivia question <laughs> that's the trivia question what's my favorite question what's my Perfect. favorite color um, um real, real quick actually i'm sure yeah. most of us are just wondering what is the the retail of the fountain pen of that bentley if you have it there the fountain pen is six oh no i'm lying six hundred sixty dollars the okay. roller ball is six hundred and the ballpoint is five forty five Perfect. So guys, that's another series. Any Bentleys, uh, even if we're not showcasing them in the video, contact us. We'll hook you up. And I mean, we're running that absolutely crazy deal of 25% off all these lines for today only. And let me tell you guys, that doesn't happen too often. That's seriously a once in a year, maybe once in a blue moon, once in a lifetime. That's a true story. <laughs> so awesome. 
Awesome. I want you know while while you're talking about that, I will say our we have three other Bentleys available in the fountain pen, rollerball, and ballpoint. Besides the one that Brendan already mentioned, um, in the wood, they are they are the exact colors of the Bentley pen. So they're um, uh, like a titanium, satin white, and this beautiful sequin blue that, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. And I've held them up to the cars and they are the exact colors and they write wow. so smoothly. They really wow. do. They're really beautiful to write with. Hey, did I ever tell you how I would also gladly accept a, a Bentley car as a sample? Well, we actually did some shows at the Bentley Automobile de Dealership, and that was the same thing. I offered them. I'll give you a patent for the, for the Nice. Cars. That's a good deal. I'm not going to lie. Definitely. <laughs> me too. Deal. Hopefully you can make it happen. <laughs> I couldn't make it happen for me, but maybe you. <laughs> we'll revisit. Awesome. We'll revisit. Cool. All right. So we'll move on to the classic collection. And this is a collection of fountain pens, roller balls, ball points, and pencils. Everything will come in that that I show you, except that they will, um, I don't have all of them with me. Um, in a the fountain pens are characterized with handmade 18 karat gold nibs with an iridium tip. It's got the cartridge converter system. They're, avail they're all available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And I'm going to start out with Makassar because I just think this is so exotic and cool looking. Oh, wait, I'll just talk about in general first the classic. I jumped way ahead of myself. Um, the barrels of the classic are made of finely ribbed um, um, woods that are beautiful, durable, and comfortable in the hand. They're finished with really fine materials like um, platinum and rhodium, which is a derivative of platinum. It's what they make white, white gold of. Yes, you can get an extra fine. Um, um, Brendan? Yeah, uh, so you're asking about an extra fine? Yeah, uh, Winnie, I'll, I'll shoot you a message after the video. Yeah, if someone asked about it and they said it's not on your site, but yes, they're all available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. So Macassar, like I said, is just oh, one other thing that they do that I forgot to mention: all of our all of our pens in Graffon Faber Castell have a single metal clip, so it's not going to break. It's spring loaded. It's not going to roll around. It's not going to catch on your clothing. It's just part of the engineering that we think is so important to the quality of the pen. All right, now back to Macassar, which I'm loving. It, you can see that it is finely ribbed wood. It's a highly durable wood and hardwood. It's actually used in the making of a lot of stringed instruments like guitars. And it will range in color from, each one's going to be different because it's a natural material. It will range in color from dark brown to reddish brown to yellow. And I just think you can tell it's wood. It looks so rich against the anthracite metal. And I don't know, it's just one of my favorite pens. I, just, I, I am addicted to our woods because to me, they're going back to our roots, and I, I love them, and I think they're just so unique and rich looking. Yeah, you can so, actually see the difference. Uh, look right here. See yeah. how it goes from a lighter to a darker? Very and each organic. one is going to be different. Yeah. So you have your own limited edition once you buy one of our wooden pens, because no two are really going to be alike. So nice. that's pretty cool. All right. Pernambuco. We originally made our Pernambuco pens wood, using wood that were originally um, were the shavings from violin bows. And back in the 80s, before people were really, really concerned with conservation, our Count Anthony von Faber-Castell, he decided we could not keep taking from the land without giving back, back to it. So he bought up a bunch of land by the Amazon rainforest in Brazil, like almost 39,000 square miles. Wow. And we started planting seedlings 
And so from then on, we used sustainable wood. And our Pernambuco wood now comes from our land in Brazil. And again, each of the Pernambuco wood is going to be different because it's a natural material. And um, the thing about Pernambuco wood is the more you use it, the um, I think the more beautiful it becomes. It darkens mm -hmm. with age. I've seen people that have had theirs for years that look burgundy. And this is actually my personal ballpoint that I've had for 13 years. And I do wow. use it a lot. And it is much darker than the one you're showing because Absolutely. it just grows more beautiful with age. I'm going to take a moment to focus on the pencil, our mechanical pencils. They are, so underneath the caps, they all have replaceable erasers. And the points on our mechanical pencils are super elegant, but they're not only elegant, they're really comfortable and super functional. So no matter what you're doing, they're comfortable to hold. And what you're, if you're doing a crossword puzzle or taking notes, that precision point is going to get exactly where you want it to go. It's a very high-tech item to extend the lead. You just turn the top. To get it back in, you turn the top and use your finger. High tech. And again, spring loaded clips, and it takes a 0.7 lead. One more thing about um, our conservation pro um, projects we are a zero carbon footprint company, and we're so proud of that. So, not only do we use sustainable wood, but we use recyc recyclable materials. And of course, we're, we're refillable, so you're not throwing them away. So we are a zero carbon footprint, and we love that. OK, Classic Anello. This is one of my favorite series of all time. This is a heads up out of any brand. Heads and up, mine too. Nice. So, I know my brother, Brian, uh, You know, he's, he's our vice president here at Atlas. He is absolutely in love with the Anellos, too. So you guys I do too. it. I, I love this. This is always, since they came out, this has always been one of my favorite as well because to me, they are so beautiful and you can see them from far away with it out, without it shouting at you. It's just, you take notice. It's just quietly elegant. I love this pen. So Anello is, um, they're distinguished by the four platinum rings that are on the barrels of the pens, and that gives it its name. Anello means rings in Italian. The barrel, the barrel also consists of several segments made of either precious resin, like the ivory precious resin that Brendan's holding up right now, or it also comes in black precious resin, which I'm gonna show you in a second, or else granadilla wood. Um, here is the black, I'm loving, so my current love right now is rose gold. Yeah. And the, right? So the black, this is the black, highly glossed precious resin segments on the barrel, finished off with rose gold. And the cap, of course, is it has the 18 karat bicolored handmade gold nib. Fine, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad, iridium tips, and I will say this rose gold I'm in love with. It also comes in the black precious resin with the platinum finish, and it comes in, I'm actually going to show you my ballpoint on the, I, the pencil, I think, on this one, because you can see the different segments. This is the granadilla wood. And you can see how even each of the segments are slightly unique. And um, it's more of a satiny finish than the resins. Um, granadilla wood is also known as African hardwood, or um, it's, it's extremely durable wood, and it's actually what they make clarinets out of. Ah, the more you know. Right? <laughs> All right, you ready for guilloche? Let's do it. Okay, guilloche means pattern in French. And we, um, each one is made of precious resin. We've hand engraved them with a process that really is normally used for um, jewelry. And the barrel is then repeatedly lacquered 
to get and it's lacquered and then polished by hand to get its finish. Um, the metal on the the bear, um, every all the metal is going to be rhodium, which I already told you is a derivative of platinum. It is what they make white gold out of. And just a word about our metals. They will never tarnish. They will never peel or anything like that. Of course, these do have the spring-loaded clips, and they come in a bunch of colors. So I'm just going to point out a few. Um, so that is, looks like the turquoise to me that Brendan has. Oh, and they're available, by the way, fountain pens, roller balls, and ball points. And I should say that the 18 karat gold nib is finished in rhodium, so it has that silver color to it. So we've got olive, we've got violet blue, we've got, don't mind me, I'm just moving trays around here, cognac, burnt orange, you already saw the turquoise, electric pink. Oh, the pink. I know. Gulf Blue, India Red, and there is a Viper Green that is beautiful, but I'm missing it, but I will show you the, the color. Each one of the, well, we're gonna go to that one in a second. Each one of the colors has a matching journal with it. So this is the Viper Green, a beautiful, vibrant green. All of our journals, by the way, are, they have, on the first page, they'll have a, um, a whimsical drawing that's done by one of our German artists. And the paper is just, oh, it's a luxury to write on. This is, I'll just give you a couple for instances. This is the Viper Green. This is our Gulf Blue. Each, one, each color will have a different little drawing on it. And I've got one more I can show you is our electric pink. That is electric, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely electric. And the, and the paper is truly, truly luxurious. Mm -hmm. um, so the guilloche also comes in a metal alternative, which Brendan was showing. And it, this, too, has the um, engraved barrel. Gosh, your pictures are just so much better than mine. I don't know why. Um, it's got kind <laughs> of a satin finish, and it contrasts so beautifully and noticeably with the glossy finishes on the caps and the end pieces. Um, it just makes a lovely contrast, something you see from far away. I don't know, it kind of looks very executive to me. I don't know why. It definitely looks executive. <laughs> and there's another finish I'm, we're going to show you, and that is our chevron. This is another one that grabs your attention quietly from far away because of its high sheen, but it doesn't shout at you either. It's got that classic V um, pattern, and then they polished it to a high, high glossiness that really stands out. I, I love this. I just think it's I think it's a great, and it feels very balanced in the hand as well. It's just a great looking writing instrument. Again, the um, nib is going to be coated in rhodium for its silver color, but it is an 18 karat handmade nib with a rhodium on the, on the tip. So I'm gonna personally endorse this one because I actually own this pen. Thank I you. I actually, uh, yeah, when Sheila was in town like two years ago, I saw it and I was like, yep, that's the one. It is so, it's really cool. And you know, these pens, you don't get tired of. They're, they're not, I, they're not like super trendy. They're just really classic, but timeless. Exactly, they're timeless. Designs. They're lifelong companions. Yeah, so. lifelong pens, and they will last a lifetime. That's what they're made for. Hi, Katie. Oh, Katie. Hi, I miss you too. She's a friend from DC. Nice. Um, I know, right? Okay, Tunisio, um, this collection is both stylish and eye-catching. Um, it's got a fluted barrel. I'm gonna show you my, our, our uh, black oh, yes. mission first. That's the, that's the because, newer one, right? Yeah, well, yep, and I'm gonna show you an even one that's coming out. Um, but this, this black edition, again, has that sleek matte, all black look, including the nib. And um, the the metal, it's it's been it's a metal that has been um, 
lacquered in many, many steps to get to achieve that matte surface. The nibs are rhodium plated stainless steel. The stainless steel is really high quality. And then they're rhodium plated in order to get that smooth, well, even our, our stainless steels are smooth nibs too, but this gets an extra, it's a really smooth writing instrument. Um, this nib is anthracite color with a rhodium, uh, ruthenium coated nib. So um, extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. These are all available in roller balls, fountain pens, ballpoints, and pencils. That is the, I'm gonna show you the one that's coming out next. This is our newest color, which is stone gray. It's fit, the metal is finished off in um, anthracite colored, wow, ruthenium coated metal. So it, that too has a really sleek look to it. Look to it. That Just is nice. Kind of that all silver gray, dark silver gray look. So Do we have an ETA on those? I think they're available now. Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah, because I know uh, you and I were discussing beforehand. I did get, I believe, the fountain pen up on our website, which is available. And mm -hmm. then also oh. pencil and roller. Yeah, here's an example, by the way, of a ballpoint. They feel, again, they feel really substantial and balanced in the hand, mm -hmm. and they are propelling, as are the 0.7 leads on all of our pencils. Um, so it also comes in the um, rhodium finish, black it comes and it comes in midnight blue the midnight blue is really i think it's so interesting along with our new stone gray they're just very neutral colors that go with anything and but they're not black so i think that's kind of the fun of them can you can I, you show the clip action it's kind of difficult for me with one hand yep yeah, the clip action is our spring-loaded clips so um Again, they will never um, break. They'll never catch on your clothing. They're just, we're all about the engineering as well as the beauty of the, of the writing instruments. And I'm going to speak, speak to that a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, if y'all get bored, just stop me. <laughs> but when it comes to um, a writing instrument, as sophisticated as a fountain pen, the question of quality has as much to do with the engineering as the design. And this, this really pertains to the nibs in particular. Um, the quality of this component really will depend, really makes whether that writing instrument is a joy to write with or not. Absolutely. So the, the combination of the 18 karat gold nibs and some with rhodium, um, and the iridium tip really ensures that you get durability and yet it's, it's um, a soft touch to it. It's got some rigidity, some elasticity. And in the final analysis, this really is what makes a good fountain pen. And manufacturing such a nib is really a, an elaborate process that takes over a hundred steps. And most of those steps are carried out by hand. And each nib is run in by hand, which is the last, the very last step. And another word for fountain pens is our ink. So first of all, it is a beautiful bottle of ink. It's 75 milliliters and it looks beautiful on any desk. And it looks like a cologne bottle, which if I may, I'll tell you a real quick story. I was at a trade show and this man thought it was a cologne bottle and he <laughs> undid the tap and put it up to his nose to smell and he got ink all over him. It was not good. So <laughs> it is not in fact scented. But the, um, aside from the fact that the bottle is so good looking and there's a lot of ink in it, it's indelible. And that means it, um, it's smudge resistant it's waterproof, it won't fade, you cannot remove all trace, you can't erase all traces of it, except for our royal blue is the only color that is erasable. Gotcha. And these, these come in 19 colors that are, um, they're inspired by uh, nature. And each 
they're vibrant, brilliant colors, and each of them really require their own formula and their own ingredients. And the bottles are $32, and they also come the same ink in a box of six cartridges in all the colors, and these are $4. And, and to, to put it on the record, those are standard international cartridges, so you can Correct. Even they use are. your ink in you know, 75% of other pen brands out there. This is true. And one thing about our inks also is that you can really tell the quality by the fact that you can start writing almost immediately, even mm -hmm. if your fountain pen has sat there for a really long break, you know, mm -hmm. weeks. Off so the record, yeah. uh, my graph, uh, I, I didn't write with it for like two months, you know, cause it was at the store and I was bouncing back and forth, uh, yep. you know, a few months ago and I picked it up and boom, smooth as butter. I was like, Thank this you is for it. that endorsement. They know I'm not lying now. Exactly, um, exactly. Thank you, Eric Gama. Eric Gama. I love the bottles too. They're they're just gorgeous. They're a highlight of the desk. They mm -hmm. that and the perfect pencil dust set. Highlight of the desk. Six months in my my Bentley Ebony writes. Yeah. yeah, AJ's got one of the pens I was talking about. They came in during the show, and it just gets you hooked. It's crazy. Um, That's awesome. I love, I love to hear it. It does. I will say one thing. I told you before that 13 years ago, I didn't know there was anything but a big pen or a Marriott pen. And I just, well, I am addicted to Faber-Castell. I can't lie. So those are the pens that I just have all over my house. And I use them all the time. I mean, sure. and, I'm a, and I'm a writer. I like to, all my notes, I don't like taking them on computers. I like mm -hmm. to get up close and personal with my thoughts. And so I write every I write everything out. So gotta get the thoughts out of here. Nice. Yep. Uh, Beth, before we continue, um, one yep. I kinda wanna hit the price points real quick. Um, on starting from the the lower price point, um, the Tamishios looks like yep. the fountains are running at retail of two twenty five, is that correct? That's correct. The roller okay. balls are one ninety five. And the ballpoints and pencils are 175. I believe the okay. black edition might be slightly higher. Yeah, 295. Well, yeah, so it's the black the edition. So that Perfect. is slightly higher. But this is the lowest the lowest price rough on Faber Castell is the Tamishio collection. Do you Perfect. want me to run over yeah, the ocean the the Yeah, exactly. What are okay. we looking at there? Okay, so the fountain pens here are 350, roller balls 280, and the ball points are 225. Uh, someone's asking, are you selling the Bentley in the blue? Yes, if it's available, we can get it for you. We can get it quick, and we can, we can get it for you fairly, fairly quickly yeah, as well. Yeah, so let me, let me make a, a quick point real quick. Um, you know, we're already selling out on quite a few things during this video. So we are obviously going to place an order uh, shortly after or tomorrow. So we'll be able to get all the product and probably have it early next week, I would assume. So very quick turnaround time. Okay, so I am going to say one thing. We do have a quick turnaround, but I will say that it is slightly longer than usual. We used to have a 48-hour turnaround. Sure. But it is slightly longer because... Um, we're practicing safe practices in our offices and warehouse. Sure. So I would say to be on the safe, I like to quote two weeks, but which is, it's really a week, but I don't want you to be so just, just as a disclaimer, that way uh, I'm not getting hot yeah. that. I'd rather over, under promise and over achieve or whatever that is. I would rather do that than have you be. Um, Perfect. No, thank you for that. And, you know, that's a great point. You know, it's still pretty amazing how quickly things are getting out the door and things are coming in. I mean, two weeks even as a max lead time, that's really not that bad. And I want to say, so somebody is asking me about the Brewer Constant. So I'm going to give you my true opinions. First, I'm going to tell you um, – both sides of the story. The tungsten is really kind of cool because it's got a little shimmer to it. When you're in the sunlight or certain indoor light, it kind of kind of shines just a bit. I mean, I'm not talking like rhinestone shine. It's just a little bit of um, 
a, like a per lesson type of thing. So that's kind of cool on the tungsten. But I've already, but I have already told you I'm a blue person, and the blue on the um, on the uh, barrel of of that sequin blue is it's so vibrant it's gorgeous and again i have this downstairs i can um I don't, how about I'll, for next video for next video if you the want next to pull video it. i'll run down and get them and, and um i'll show them r real quick either before or after um sure. whatever you want brendan and so that they can see it i'll also i'll also put up that ebony one but the ebony one i gotta say you cannot appreciate but you cannot appreciate that ebony pen unless you hold it exactly you, you cannot feel the heft or the the beauty of the ebony wood and it's just um it's beautiful you can't really appreciate it on a picture listen you guys so. i'm telling you that is one of the crispiest pens in the market uh, yeah. Beth, if you didn't know, we're starting a new uh, word trend. The term crispy means sleek, sick, crispy smooth. Means and nice. and let me tell you guys, that Bentley that will show, uh, yes, we're coming back on at 2 p.m. Central Time. We'll show it then. It is one of the most crispy pens out there, I'm telling you. Do you have it in the store still? I do not know. Uh, Sheila was was hounding me to send it back because I was trying to keep it a little longer than I was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody was asking. They said they're going to be in your store later this afternoon. I'm sorry. I, I do don't. not have it. Yeah. Um, Beth, where are you located? Well, okay. So our our U.S. offices are in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I, however, live in Baltimore. Okay. So, so a, nice, a nice quick uh, oh, seven away from run. Chicago. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah, we'll have you here this afternoon. <laughs> Absolutely, I can do it. Um, did you want me to talk about our the trivia questions? Or? Yeah, yeah. So, so here's how this is going to work. Uh, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Now is one of our favorite segments, the trivia. Uh, how this is going to work, Beth, is you'll ask the questions and okay. they will answer. Um, for those of you who are ready for trivia, please put an emoji in the chat. Uh, that's how we know they're all ready and it's a fair game. While they do that, Beth, I'm going to do my disclaimer. Should I go fast or slow? You want, you want a 10 second disclaimer or, you know, a nice smooth disclaimer. You let me know. This is your show. You can do whatever all right, you want. We're doing right? another 10 seconds this time. Here we go, guys. Put an emoji in the chat so we know that you are ready. Here we go. This is how trivia works. Beth is going to ask the questions. You guys are going to answer the questions in the chat. The first person to submit the correct answer in the chat that pops up on my screen. Yes, my screen will win that respective prize today. We have three questions for this video, which means three prizes. Now, if you do win, you must live in the U.S. And we will also contact you after the show and ship out your prize at no cost. Boom. Perfect. Boom. That was smooth. Um, that was smooth. I'm going to, I just want to mention really quickly our other promotions that are available. So today, today only till midnight, I think it is 25% off Ralph on Faber Cast. I think all of Faber Cast. All of them, yeah. And um, you get one free Ralph on Faber Castell ink bottle of, of your choice. I know the, the graph for the graph for the graph. Um, you can. Can they choose their colors or? Uh, that I don't know. I didn't know what Brian did. Um, sometimes for the, the gift with purchases, we only upload a couple. But That's if, you leave a note, if you leave a note on your order, we'll make anything work. So okay. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We'll do your color choice. OK. So um, you get one free bottle of Graf on Faber-Castell with any Graf purchase. Mm -hmm. If you get a, de a design, a fine writing design purchase, which we're going to go over this afternoon, you will get a design um, ink. I think that's 30 milliliters, right? 30, correct. And you guys, yep. I want to reiterate this. You guys know I'm good at selling, but this is a huge deal. We stated before, we normally can't discount the product at all because that's just how, that's how it operates, right? So the show special is seriously such a rare case and we really hope you guys take advantage. Plus you get that free bottle of ink on top of it. I mean, these are 30 bucks, right? 32 bucks or something like that. I mean, oof, it's a killer plus, deal. We truly appreciate it, all of you out there and I truly appreciate your support and your joining in today. Y'all ready for the questions? Let's do it. All right. So you're going right. to expect they are ready. So question one is going to be 
four. Is this me? Oh, yeah. yeah okay, so, so that is a really cool grip set. It's a fountain pen and ballpoint. I love the grip. We're going to grow go over that in the afternoon, but it's awesome. All right. What auto manufacturer does Graf von Faber-Castell have a current partnership with? This is easy if you were paying attention. Oh, it's no, probably, nobody listened. Yeah, we probably said it about 20 times. Nobody listened, Brendan. Uh-oh. <laughs> I guess I might as well keep the prize I see for myself. It. I see it. I see it. Yep, Bentley. Rocky LaDoodle, congratulations. That was the correct answer. All right, yes, ready Bentley. for the second one? Do you want to show them what they get for a second? So this is a version of the Perfect Pencil. It comes with the um, Perfect Pencil and two refill pencils. And this question is, what is the theme of the 2020 pen of the year? Let's see who else was paying attention. So we're looking for what was the theme of the 2020 pen of the year? I think I put them all to sleep with my talk. <laughs> oh, Rocky's yes. killing it. Oh my God, Rocky, that's Rocky. awesome. All right, ready for the last one? Here we go, you guys. This is the last question for this session. Let's do it. The last one. The last one is, what year was Faber-Castell founded? And it's for the Faber, oh, I think he's wearing, he's got a little Faber logo on the side. It's very subtle. And it's for a Faber-Castell hat. What year was Faber-Castell founded? Oh, here we go. Eric Gaines. 1761. No, 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 no. There was one before him. Uh, on my screen, it was Eric. Oh, okay. Oh, Eric, so who, that's who, right. Who, who, who did you? Who did you? No, have? no. Eric is correct. Sorry. Okay. I I, if you have somebody else. else, I'll see if I have another hat. No, nope, it either. was Eric. It was Eric. Okay. All right, I just Eric, want to make sure. You just so, want to have my hand. So thank you again. We so appreciate you. We're nothing without all of you, and. Uh, what do we do now? Just hang up? <laughs> or do yeah, you have any I questions? Mean, I mean, we'll, we'll do our, our closing statements. I mean, you absolutely rocked the show, Beth. We couldn't be more happy to have you on. So thank you for that. Uh, for everybody oh, else, you. we will be coming back on at 2 p.m. Central Time. That's in three hours. And we will review the entire line of the design favorite cast out, the design line. Uh, so right. guys, stay tuned. Uh, keep in mind the promotions are live right now on our website. So make sure you take advantage. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace. Thank you, guys.